it We've Robin. Been Robin. That's interesting. Yeah, so, Zony versus like Steve, yeah. whatever. So, and then, so Death, uh, one of the best, or the best Robin in Smash 4, one of the best in Ultimate, actually has a uh, saying that he likes to say about Robin and doubles, sure. which is that um, it's like if you gave a baby a. It's like if you gave a baby a uh, a rattle, but the rattle was also a machine gun. <laughs> so, what he means by that is that uh, you know Robin definitely can go off at any time, do a lot of damage, but he can't necessarily uh, like target switch very quickly uh, because yeah. of his mobility, and then also his stuff takes up so much of the screen. A lot of the time, he'll limit his teammate as well. So yeah. definitely a high risk, high reward kind of character to bring in doubles. That said, definitely one of the characters I would say, and a lot of Robins would say, uh, does pretty well into Steve. So he's not going to be huh. as big of an issue here as he maybe could be in some other matchups. Yeah. That said, you know, while we were chepping, we saw yeah. three stocks we, go, yeah, exactly. uh, go off. You know, one from both of uh, Leto and Ro, and then also one over here from Apple Reviewer. Even stocks right now. Yeah. Um, and we're going to lose that first one as well. Two stocks all now. Oh. You know, is it, it is interesting seeing Steve in a doubles format because when I think of Steve in singles, I just think of, like, those zero-to-death combos. But you can just hit your teammate out of it. Yeah, you can't do that in doubles. Uh, and also, I feel like this is definitely an environment we don't see Steven as much because people don't play doubles, especially at a local level, nearly as much uh, after lockdown, right? Yeah. So I feel like since Steve has been in the game, we've mostly been, you know, a mostly doubles-centered uh, scene, especially here in New England. Yeah. So seeing this in this environment is definitely kind of interesting. I have an experience for us, if nothing else. We do see, you know, a slight lead here. You know, up one stock here for Robin and Weefit. And up smash not quite going to take it. Going to get a full charge sun while they're off stage. Might as well. I feel like these characters, Robin and Weefit, are also, interestingly, both characters who don't mind being at the ledge that much, right? Yeah. Um, they have some good, like, ledge stalling options. Yeah, for sure. Like, Robin obviously is limited to an extent uh, by Elwyn. Elwyn charges. Yeah. Uh, um, just like, oh. No, no. he's fine. He's okay. fine. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely limited Ooh. to an extent. But, you know, you got the arc fire off the ledge. You have uh, yeah. aerials that are really good. You know, go really far into the ledge. A lot of Robins like using those. And even if you just stall one time with any of that, yeah, if your partner's available, that can be the time they need to get yeah. in. Good punish on the up throw here uh, from Ro. And then he's going to take Antimony down to his last dive. That back here is going to take uh, Ro down to his. You have the diamond tools on deck here for Steve. We do have. Yeah. Get back. We have Apple Revere desperately trying to rejoin his teammate on the other side of the stage, yeah. and Rose just not letting him right now. Okay, gets around the arc fire ledge trapping with the flip jumps, goes all the way to the other side. Just that's how I. This is how I thought the game would go. It would just be numerous. Lots of lots of thunder. pressing. Oh, yeah, tough we, spot to be in. Yeah, for sure. We see uh, Leto losing that last stock, and now, uh, now there's no teammate to save mm. you. So you can plank all you want, but you got to get off eventually. Uh, if, if Ro just gets rid of one of them. Yeah, Ro can't get rid of one. And Robin has a lot of setups to do that, but definitely a lot more difficult since a lot of them rely on projectiles like Arc Fire yeah. or Arc Thunder. A lot more difficult to do that with another player in the mix. Okay. Oh, that backer is going to be able to make it work, though. And now, all of a even. sudden, dead even game. Oh. Oh, no more Arc Fire. Got to watch out for that. Going to be back here in a few seconds, that, but... That book was clutch. Be careful. <laughs> What's up? That book was so cool. Oh, it like, got out of the book came combo. through, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, get up attack. That's smart, because get up attack is invincible. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good grab. That, that, uh, Manage what's going on. Arc Thunder into the grab, definitely going to be true at that range. We got Antimony mining up some diamonds. Tricky movement oh, here, but the back the air diamond, is going to easily take it, damn. you know. I thought that maybe would be uh, close. That, not even remotely. Yeah. <laughs> that demolished him. I just realized Rho, is is that how you spell Rho when you refer to the Greek letter Rho? No. No? no. Okay. Um, if you're going to spell that out, that would be R-O-W. R-O-W. R -O -W. R Wait, really? Yeah, I'm pretty For sure. For the Greek letter? Yeah. Rho? Or no, it would be R-H-O. Oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. It would be R-H-O. Yeah, yeah, I've not seen the row no, symbol <laughs> since, like, a statistics course. That's what I'm saying. I remember <laughs> that in AP statistics. I was 16 years old. 
Um, I don't know. Yeah. They told me I'd use that, uh, you know, in, in my working life. It still has yet to happen. I literally just spelled it wrong the first time. Like, yeah. has yet to happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, Is it Salmon Row? Oh, my God. Uh, we do end up going over to the FD counter pick here. Okay. Which is I, 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 I like that. I, I, th I like it. Yeah, I can definitely see it. I feel like We Fit and Robin just uh, like zoning, definitely can benefit a little bit from zoning that. Zoning horizontal only. Yeah. At can the same tough. time, it does give Steve a lot of unimpeded space to kind of get True. his resources. Yeah. And uh, Me Brawl is the fastest character on the screen by a lot, unless We Fit's in deep breathing. So yeah. for that reason, like you're going to give uh, Me Brawler a lot of time and a lot of space to kind of run circles around you as well. So, oh, True. wait, what? Oh. Uh, the overlay said that they picked FD. Oh, it does look like okay. we're going to go to Small Battlefield instead. Yeah. Um, okay. This does make a little bit more sense, I think. Because uh, now Brawler does not have as much room. Amazing wave bounce uh, arc fire to get that up yeah. air off. Yeah, Brawler has just like, some really fun oh. looking movement. Yep. And arc fire in the back air. Easy stock there. Big ledge trap. We actually see a similar adaptation from Roe as we did from uh, Seppi in the last set, I feel like. Yeah. It's hanging back a lot more, kind of letting uh, Leto take the lead and holding down the rear flank with those projectiles. Oh, sour back air into the strong back air. Very percent determinant combo, but managed to uh, get it right there. A lot of pressure here coming in from Apple Reviewer's Me Brawler. Robin just like not going in. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. Why? Why? I mean, do why? That, right? Because like, if uh, honestly, it looks like he's playing more of a support role this game. Because we have uh, Leto kind of holding it down on the front line, and I'm sure if they yeah. need support, then uh, you know, Roll will come in. But until then, you know, might as well just like throw something once in a while. And we'll call it good. Because yeah, I mean, Leto had an incredible efficiency that first stock. Took three Still before losing on one of their own. First stock. Wow. Yeah, and Ro, like I say, like doing that stock tanking thing, not even at 100% on their first stock. Oh, right. great way to hit out of the... Out of the uh, Steven up smash, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll grab into the forward smash. Okay. Can't stock tank that. That's going to be tough. <clears throat> going to take a little bit of damage getting back, yeah. but get still going to be able to get that uh, deep breathing off. Usage of the double jump faint here by Row, not uh, catching that F smash. Oh, Minecart, I feel yeah. like, is actually a lot stronger in doubles. Because yeah. even if Steve isn't in position to get a punish off of it, uh, their partner definitely will be. But we were split up apart uh, yeah. the stage. Yeah, he's going to go for the exile, but not going to make it happen. As I got to maneuver around these blocks, going to be able to make it work. Tough spot for Antimony. Yeah, for sure. Antimony is not in a great position. Especially with uh, getting Nosferatu and allowing uh, Weefa to get back to the stage for free like that. It's another great thing about command grabs and doubles, they kind of put your, uh, you know, the person, the target out of commission for a little bit. Oh. As, oh, the oh, out of hit stun, great DI though, not quite going to KO. Goes for the X out again, not going to make it happen. Uh, that up is going to take it though. Yeah. That was totally different than... Oh, 100%. Game one was like last hit. This was pretty dominant. This was honestly a, a stomp, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, that entire game, uh, that entire game, Leto was just, just mixing them, honestly. Uh, I, I don't think there was ever a point where you could say that Team's Owners was not in control of that game. Yeah. We got this beautiful soccer ball into the up air at the end as well. Like, damn. Ouch. <clears throat> Let's see what the uh, bands will be. We already have Battlefield, uh, you know, banned over here by uh, by team's owners. And let's see what else is on the chopping block. I would expect potentially a Yoshi's Story ban. I don't expect that would be super yeah. good for them, especially with Brawler's ability to kill early. That said, Robin mm -hmm. does uh, is able to kill really early there, but I don't know. they're I, also not able to stock tank. I want to see an overly cramped Smashville game. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Smashville and doubles, I feel like, is so cringe. Uh, yeah. For that reason, yeah. you know? 
as the other band's gonna be Kalos, actually. That's interesting, I feel like, coming from characters as kind of like zoning heavy and you know more chill of a gameplay pace as sure. we fit and Robin. Although, Robin definitely a little bit susceptible to being camped on that stage because it's so big and they're so slow. So I do understand it from that point of view. We think can get deep breathing anywhere. So if that's the justification, yep. it makes sense. But it does actually look like we are going to see Yoshi's story. So not quite Smashville, but we are going to see the cramped game you want yeah. to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting well, that Battlefield would be banned, but this would be left over. I could see it because Yoshi's story, I feel like so many people are not used to that slight, like, dip at the ledge. That's true. And I think the way that they're... Oh, okay. We're going back to No, we're going back to PS2. Okay. okay. Production lying to us nonstop today. <laughs> Happens, though. Apparently deciding there is no issue uh, with this stage. We're just going to go back to it. Oh, Down Smash actually destroying the minecart. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I like these arc fires harassing uh, Steve at a range as well, making it so he has to move and has to stop mining. Yeah. Speaking of which, Antoine is going to lose his first stock to that Wii Fit there. And now getting zoned from both sides. Let's yeah. trap by Robin and stage trap by Wii Fit. Definitely hard for him to uh, get any kind of momentum here, Oof. get any kind of resources. Good tech. <laughs> the right side of the stage is just so Right much. side was chaos for a minute there, yeah. but a little bit more uh, evenly spread apart. We got a couple of 1v1s going on. Yep. And really once again. It's creative from Lido to get back on ledge. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, this. Oh, uh, the back oh, air wow. from over there. Back air is going to knock him out, yeah. Okay. So like I said, this uh, kind of dual pronged zoning from uh, team zoners is really interesting. We got Robin coming from on the stage. We've got a lot of the time oh. coming from off. But not going to come back on that stock. Uncharacteristic SD here. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely looking uh, nothing like game number two. Yeah. I mean, they're still in it for sure. If they can take this antimony stock quickly, nothing's uh, unsalvageable. As they do, back to even stocks, despite how grim that looked for a minute there. We got the Arc Thunder once again, you know, nowhere near him, but still able to harass him out of mining. Oh, gets out of the minecart with that. Yeah, for sure. No punish on that. No real punish on that arc fire uh, either. The deal. <laughs> yeah, we have the quarry block set up. Going to get destroyed really quickly, though. Not going to be able to use it. Yeah. You can tell that uh, Leto and Ro definitely play a lot together. You can tell mm -hmm. that... Uh, like, one of them is always ready for when the other one does an aerial or an out of shield option and is just ready to punish uh, off of it as well. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're going to up air out of shield? All right, cool. I have a back air, you know, waiting where they're going to end up. As oh. going to try to re grab the ledge. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Ends up taking the stock at the same time Ro loses his. And now you got three stocks versus one. Nothing we fit can't do, but definitely yeah, a tough. mountain to climb. Especially with uh, Steve with these diamond tools on deck as well. Yeah. Oh, it's so. Oh. Oh, that minecart might be a wrap, man. <laughs> oh, nope. oh. Oh, the soft spike, but not going to be able to make it happen. Out. As that's an unfortunate way to go out, but definitely some solid play coming through uh, from Apple Reviewer and. Uh, yeah. Apple Reviewer and Antimony, especially in that game number one and uh, toward the end of that game number three. Yeah, game, game three was just, I don't know, each game just felt so different. No, yeah, those look like, if you told me, if you showed me those three games and told me these are each from a different set, I'd have believed you. Yeah. Like, yeah, these guys played at CT GamerCon 2019, 20, and 23. I'd yeah. be like, yeah, that sounds right. Like, <laughs> but no, they were all in the same set and all happened in 15 minutes. So yeah. definitely some good stuff for that. And next up, it looks like we're going to end up having Unleashed and Ty, uh, another pair of Boston Brothers. Yep. Um, and Dogwater19 and Mother, Mother Hecker. Hecker. Yep. I don't I don't know much about Dogwater19 and Mother Hecker. Yeah, I would imagine they're also uh, local guys as well. Uh, to get here... Okay, to get here they did beat uh, Milsharks and Geno King. Geno King is actually yes. quite good. Geno King is Ike so, and Milsharks a DK? Yeah. 